Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Berghaus Yeti Gators. Now, for those that might not know, a gator goes round on your lower leg and it's going to protect from the rain and all the elements of the weather and that, the ground, mud, it's going to protect your legs and your feet around that area. That's going to go onto your foot there, around your boot, and that's where it's going to protect. It's a fantastic little piece of kit, gators. It can help you be out in the elements for longer, and it's going to give you that security that your boots may not get absolutely soaked. Now, I've been out a few times, and I've worn gators in the past, and yes, if it is torrential rain and everything, it may still get in the boot. But it's going to give you that more advantage of not getting wet. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a Berghaus Yeti gator before. But this is what they look like. And that's what the bottom looks like. Now, what this does is, this bottom bit here... Your boot, this actually goes round your boot. So it looks like the front of the boot would be here, the front there, the back there, and this rubber bit goes round the outer bit of your boot. So you've literally got full protection around the boot and your lower leg. Now, it's called the front and it's called the full front who can loop system that's what that's called it's made by yeti pro rubber that's that bit the only bit of rubber that's on there because it's super strong durable and the quality is just absolutely fantastic you can see by the stitching, class. Now, you might be able to tell these have been used. I got them from a charity shop. You know me. Paid £2. Now, I have noticed online, they do vary in price, depending on which website you get them from. But I've seen them from £40 all the way up to £120. So, it just kind of depends where you shop. But I only paid two quid, Class. It's also made by a three layer Gore-Tex system. So, like I said, really waterproof. The zip at the front here, the Velcro is really strong. This would go all the way down. Take your time with the Velcro, like I said. Tough that. Comes all the way down. And this is where you would put your boot in. Now I am going to show you how you put your boot in, so keep watching. I have watched some other videos myself and there seems to be quite a lot of different approaches to putting these around your boot. But I've had a go without using any of these little life hacks, I would call them. I just put my boot in. Yes, it does take a little bit of effort and strength, but you're, you're bound to have some little tools around your house that's going to help put this around your boot. Now this is stretchy. So you've just got to take your time with it. Um, yeah, and you have to get the right size. Small, medium, large, extra large. These are a large, and they're gonna, these are gonna fit my size. I think it's size nine to 10 or something like that, the boot. But they do fit. It was pure fluke that I even got them in the first place. I just seen them, and I had to Google the size because it just said 44 to 45, obviously I don't know what that is. So I googled it and it said my size. Now you do get a bit thrown off because you think, how's that going to get around my size 10 boot there? But it does. So keep watching the video and you'll be able to see. At the top of the boot here, at the top of the gator, you do have straps. Now I don't know, with these being second hand, I don't know if there's meant to be some kind of pull cord that you pull it and it would say slap that in place but 
I think what I'm just going to do is, when I zip it all the way at the top, I'm just going to tie it into a, a normal, how you would do your shoelaces. I think that would do it. So that'll do me. Inside of it, you do have the quality, the quality control patch there, which means it's been signed off, it's been double checked, inspection one, inspection two, and it doesn't get shipped off to the shops until it's quality inspected. So it's good that. There we are. Right, I'm gonna show you how I got these onto my boot. Now I'm only gonna show you one of them because the video is gonna be 40 minutes long if I do both. Right, here's my boot. Size nines, Brasher, Gore-Tec boots. I'm gonna get them whacked in here. I've put a towel on the floor so my wife can't have a go at us if I make a mess. My boots aren't the cleanest. Right, so that's fully open there, as you can see. Now I'm not quite sure if there's a right to left one, but it doesn't say in them, right or left. So I'm guessing that's just any, right. Get your boot. You put your boot toe to the front of the gator first. Now, make sure that's tucked in and it goes right to the front because you're going to be stretching it. That's going to go in there. Push it down. Don't be shy. It's not going to tear. Right, now this is the hard bit. That's the back of the boot there. And you start to think, how the hell is that going to gun around there? It does. You've got to stretch it. Do not be shy. Put some pressure into it. Push as hard as you can and get the back of the boot. Now what I did last time was, I pulled this further down and then I was pulling the back. So pull that and then pull the back further up. Get the boot down. Keep pulling so it goes further down. You want all the material to come up. Now it's not an easy job. It does take quite a lot of effort. Probably, probably is why these other people use different things to make their life easier. But once they're on, that's it. Now you do have to pull. If you do find it starts hurting your fingers, you can use house utensils. I've got a spatula here. Right, it's rubber. I haven't used this last time. I'm just going to see if it works. Now it's really tight for a reason. It's got to be tight or it's not going to go around the boot. It'll just slide up when you're walking. And if you think about it, you've only really got to do this once because what you can do is you can just leave it on the boot and while you're out for, let's just say three, three days if you're out camping, just leave it around your boot. I'll show you how you even put them on. Right, there we go, it's on there. That's on. It's not on properly yet, but it's on. So if you do pull it too far up, just pull it all the gator all the way back down, then you can Pull it down to where you think it's the, where you feel comfortable with it there. And then just put the gear to back round. Pull it back up and you'll be able to see. Put that tight. Yeah, I'm probably happy with that nearly. It's not exactly where I want it, but it'll do. One more go. Pull it down. Put it too far down, it's going to come off. And then you have to do the whole process again. I'm quite happy with that. Right, so there we go, it's on. Might not be perfect, but it's on. Let's do the zip up. Yeah. 
So there we go, that's what it would look like on your foot. It's round, your whole boot is fully protected. You've got the Berghaus logo there on the side. And I'm extremely looking forward to putting these on because they look class as well. When you walk in, they look absolutely class. So there you go. The front there, you've got a different type of material. That's almost like it's more durable than the rest of the boot. Obviously, that's going to might get scuffed a little bit more at the front there. Now, ideally, I would have had this a bit further down, but that'll do. As long as the rubber bit there isn't going to get tread on much, you'll be all right, because that's going to last a long time if you're not standing it on every stride, every step. So, getting the boot on, once you have put the gaiter on, open your boot up inside. It's everything open there. Then just put your foot in. Do your boot up within the gaiter. Make sure that you've got your shoelaces tucked in away from that Velcro because it's going to get caught. It's all in there. Zip that up. You want that Velcro on there. Keep it away from the zip. Get this tied. There we go. Fully protected. Looks good, feels good, and then if I was going to take my boots off, if I'm in my tent for instance, or if I'm just relaxing anywhere, you would just undo all that, keep your boot in, put your boot to the side, it's all going to stand as one, just put them back on, Bob's your uncle. So that's the video there of the Berghaus Yeti Gator, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's gave you a bit of information about what that does. And if you get one, or if you already got them, comment on the video and let us know what you think. I have looked at some of the reviews online and I think it's a bit 50-50. There was a lot of negative comments and a lot of positive comments. Now I can imagine that half of the negative comments are probably, I can't get the bugger on. Well. If you can't get the bugger on, get someone to give you a hand. It is hard to get on. You might sweat a little bit, but you'd be all right. Just use force. You're not gonna tear it. It's Yeti rubber. It's super strong, it's all right. Take your time, don't lose faith. Just get it whacked in. Once it's in, that's it, for days, if you need it for days. I took it on and off last time pretty quickly and it was all right. And I've just put one on there. I'll have to put the other one on now. I have got a bit of a sweat on myself. But now I know what I'm going to be dealing with. It's all right. Well, that's the video. Hope you've liked it. If you want to watch some more videos, subscribe here in the middle. And then watch some more in the corners here. Okay? I'll see you later on. Tura.